Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Um, how did you? Um, uh, we would like to ask. Ah, uh, simply, we know na your preparation regarding the uh, pageant for Thailand. Um, yung dalawa na yung trans. Have you heard it? I think there's only one with one competing for Miss Mongolia. If I'm to be correct. Ah, uh, but if you could say sa mga pasok sa universe, okay, pare. Oh, no, man. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> <laughs> Yun, ang may mga sa akin, uh, una, is, um, yung question may mga Aging Una, tanong sa akin is, um, yung, uh, ano po ba daw maititip nyo sa mga, kasi we're affected of inflation, uh, ng gas, mga bilihin. May mga universe or queen, queen tips na sinasabi nila para at least maibsa naman nila yung uh, inflation. Hindi nila maramdaman. Ano yung matitip mo? For a practical everyday tip, I think something basic that you can start yourself is to create your household budget. You know, to really educate yourself about your finances, your personal finances, and take your earnings, put some away for a rainy day, and then delegate the rest to your needs and don't spend outside of your means. Um, so that's something personally that you could do to, to handle your finances. But um, if you want to see a change or a reflection of that in in the laws and the reforms that are being put in place, I guess we can carry that out with our voice on social media or let our our local government hear our points of view. If we're unhappy, I mean, they are do have the best interests of the people at heart. So I think if people are unhappy with the inflation, we should speak up about it and hopefully the government will hear that. Okay, another question. Um, did you bet ka ba sa No, I did not. But I've been watching it from afar. <laughs> 1.2 na daw. Yeah, if you're going to win 1.2 billion, ano daw gagawin mo dun sa pera <laughs> I just answered this question, Kanina. A new thing popped into my head, but um, I have I'm an only child to so my parents, and I'm very close to my my other family, my titas and titos. And in the moments that my family was in financial trouble, they really reached out and helped us out. So I would love to one buy my parents a block of land and allow them to retire there, and also help out my family who reach out to me and my family in our times of need. Um, second, I would love to put up a business. I'm not sure what in particularly, but I've fallen in love with our indigenous fabrics in the Philippines, especially in the Mindanao region and all over. I think our culture is so rich in our arts and traditions and our handiwork and our woodwork and with our materials. And I would love to share that with people all around the world. So to be able to somehow put a business together maybe and support and give livelihood to um, the indigenous peoples I think would be amazing. And third, um, I have an a, uh, education-based organization in Tonga, Manila, and at the moment they only have two buildings as uh, schools, and I think it would be nice to help put out one or two more because, I mean, I, I, to pay for a building that would stay there for years where hundreds or thousands of kids could go through and get an education, and I think that's something worth investing in. And your project now? Yeah. Well, um, well, it has would, been for since Would you like to seek some people uh, help? Some mga may mga kakayanan na at least? <laughs> Yes, if anyone would like to help with my advocacy, the first is Young Folk as Art. It's based in Tondo, Manila, and it's an education-based foundation that uh, offers free education for the younger kids from about three to seven, and school sponsorships for the kids that are older. Um, you can go to youngfocus.org where they have information about donating, or even if you have time to volunteer, that would be wonderful also. And my second advocacy is Love Yourself Philippines. They're always in need of volunteers because it's a volunteer-run organization revolving around educating, supporting, and treating those affected by AIDS and HIV. And they're looking for volunteers always who are passionate and wanting to be a part of a big family or if you have medical expertise who want to volunteer that would be wonderful also you can go to their website loveyourself.ph for any information thank you yun, ang galing naman. Isa na lang. Yes, ah <laughs> uh, Tawag dito, uh, siyempre, lalaban ka na sa Thailand. Ah, mm. uh, tawag dito. Ano yung mga, ine-expect ng mga tao? Sino ba yung, ano ba yung, mayroong pwede bang mag-hint ka? Ano yung isusuot mo sa nga? So, um, hint lang. My hint for national costume is Boong Pilipinas. <laughs> Very vague. Very but, vague. Um, <laughs> I'm really keeping an effort to keep it a secret because I really want to share at the right time mm -hmm. and I'm so so excited my team is so excited to share mm -hmm. what we've been working on for so long yes. and then national costume oh, sorry evening gown pala 
Uh, it was really hard to come up with something that would top my Bini Bini look. Um, but it does have Philippine symbolism in it once more. And I'm really excited for you guys. Do you have a name for your designer? Yes, uh, for my national costume, it's Jerson de Marivas, who also did my Bini Bini costume. And for my evening gown, it's Mac to Mac. Wow! <laughs> Would you like to ano, uh, invite people to support also Atisa for uh, Yes! All of my loves, please support our Bunso, our baby queen, Atisa Manalo, as she goes off to Japan to represent us proudly for Miss International Pageant. I have no doubts that she will do amazingly well, and I believe in this girl so much. She has such a heart, kind heart, and I really hope that she's able to share that internationally, and I'm sure she will bring home our seventh crown. But please do continue to support her journey on all of her social media accounts. I don't know if there's voting in Miss International, but if there is, laban tayo, guys. I want Eva. Eva is. Oh, and Eva and Michelle, they're both at their respective pageants. Eva is in Myanmar, competing for Miss Grand International. I know that there's voting for that, so go onto the appropriate channels and vote for our sister. She's doing so well and representing us so well over there. And all the best luck to Eva. And also Michelle, who is in Albania for Miss Globe. I'm not sure if there's voting there too, but do send our queens constantly positivity, love, and prayers. They need it while they're representing us. And just, yeah, do everything that we can to support our sisters. We love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.